Well, this is the spacecraft, the first interstellar space. We made it. <laughs> well, we still had enough power to, to send back home what it was uh, that we are now, now exploring in the, uh, this new region of space. No human-made spacecraft has ventured as extensively into space as NASA's Voyager 1. It has been engaged in space exploration for 45 years and will persist in its mission for the next few years until its power is depleted. Launched in 1977 with the initial purpose of studying Jupiter and Saturn, this probe has delved into genuinely uncharted territories, sparking curiosity about what lies beyond the confines of our solar system. The Voyager mission has been transmitting data for a more extended period than any other spacecraft and has now surpassed the boundaries of the solar system. Nevertheless, in the summer of 2023, the probe initiated the transmission of signals that perplexed NASA engineers. These signals differed from any previous messages received from the spacecraft, which had been journeying beyond the heliosphere for over a decade. Join us as we explore the alarming reply Voyager 1 received from a nearby star. Scientists have announced that the recent signals received by NASA's Voyager 1 are a response from an unidentified star within our galaxy. The scientific community is experiencing a mixture of excitement and nervousness as the signal is identified as a reply to a message sent 25 years ago. Following the reception of this signal, Voyager 1, the enduring spacecraft with a lengthy mission history, exhibited peculiar behavior. The reasons behind this unconventional conduct and the intended message it sought to convey have become subjects of intrigue. Scientists speculate that these signals might constitute the first contact with a genuine extraterrestrial message, marking a significant milestone in our potential communication with outer space. In the rich history of space exploration, few narratives capture the imagination and inspire awe quite like the saga of NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft. It serves as a poignant symbol of the dreams and ambitions that gripped the world during the transformative epics of the 1960s and 70s. In the collective pursuit of exploring the cosmos, Voyager 1 emerged as a trailblazer, embarking on an extraordinary journey through the solar system. In the crucible of engineering ingenuity, a breakthrough materialized in 1972, unveiling a spacecraft that would forever alter our comprehension of celestial navigation. This extraordinary creation took the form of a three-axis stabilized spacecraft featuring an orientation control system anchored in astronomical coordinates and a gyroscope. The innovative system played a pivotal role in maintaining the precise alignment of high-gain antennas, ensuring an uninterrupted communication link with Earth. Despite being launched after Voyager 2, Voyager 1's expedited trajectory allowed it to exit the asteroid belt ahead of its counterpart, overtaking Voyager 2 on December 15, 1977. Voyager 1 embarked on its Jovian imaging mission in April 1978, positioned approximately 165 million miles from the gas giant. The images transmitted back by January 1979 revealed a more turbulent atmosphere on Jupiter compared to the Pioneer flybys conducted in 1973 to 1974. As it soared past Jupiter, the spacecraft captured striking images of the planet's moons, including Amalthea, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Notably, Voyager 1 made the groundbreaking discovery of two new moons, Thebe and Metis. Among the most captivating revelations was the encounter with Io, where images unveiled a peculiar yellow, orange, and brown landscape with a minimum of eight active volcanoes ejecting material into space, establishing it as one of the most geologically dynamic bodies in the solar system. After its exploration of Jupiter, Voyager 1 altered its trajectory on April 9, 1979 in preparation for its journey towards Saturn. Another adjustment was made on October 10, 1979, to avoid colliding with Saturn's moon Titan. Upon reaching Saturn in November 1979, the encounter proved as awe-inspiring as the preceding ones. During this visit, Voyager 1 identified five new moons around Saturn. The spacecraft's photographic documentation included Saturn's moons, Titan, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea. The incoming data suggested that these moons were predominantly composed of water ice. Particularly intriguing was Titan, with atmospheric data hinting at the possibility of liquid existing on its surface, making it a unique candidate in the solar system, aside from Earth. Following its encounter with Saturn, Voyager 1 commenced its journey away from the solar system. It maintained a rapid pace, covering about 3.5 astronomical units AU, 
annually, equivalent to approximately 325 million miles. Its trajectory inclined at an angle of 35 degrees above the ecliptic plane, moving in the direction opposite to nearby stars. Due to specific requirements for the Titan flyby, the spacecraft did not proceed to Uranus and Neptune. In a momentous event in 1990, Voyager 1 executed a remarkable maneuver. On this special day, it turned its cameras back toward the solar system, capturing images of the sun and the planets. This marked the first instance of observing our solar system from an external perspective. Positioned at an impressive distance of about 40 astronomical units, AU, from the sun roughly 3.7 billion miles away, Voyager 1 provided a unique vantage point. The images taken during this event gave rise to the iconic pale blue dot, a term popularized by scientist Carl Sagan, a member of the Voyager team and a professor at Cornell University. Though Sagan is no longer with us, his legacy endures, continuing to inspire people worldwide. This special image is recognized as the Solar System Family Portrait, excluding Mercury and Mars. Mercury's proximity to the Sun rendered it invisible, and Mars, positioned on the same side as Voyager 1, presented only its dark side to the cameras. These images constituted the final set among the 67,000 captured by the two Voyager spacecraft. Following this event, NASA deactivated the cameras on the Voyager spacecraft to conserve power and memory for their ongoing journey into interstellar space. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 achieved the status of the most distant human-made object, surpassing Pioneer 10 at a distance of 69.4 astronomical units AU from the Sun. Subsequently, on December 16, 2004, scientists associated with Voyager announced that the spacecraft, situated at a distance of 94 astronomical units, had detected high values for the intensity of the magnetic field. This revelation indicated that Voyager 1 had reached the termination shock and entered the heliosheath. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 made history by becoming the first spacecraft to exit the heliosphere, marking its entry into interstellar space. Upon entering interstellar space, Voyager 1 unveiled unforeseen insights into the interstellar medium. It recorded the ambient sounds of interstellar space. However, the spacecraft encountered intermittent communication issues with NASA after this phase. Recently, scientists proposed that Voyager 1 might receive a response from another solar system, a radio wave transmission sent by NASA 25 years ago to confirm the establishment of a connection has now propagated throughout space. Scientists believe that this signal has reached the star closest to us. A team of researchers at the University of California claims to have possibly detected a signal indicative of intelligent life. Their analysis suggests that this response, if it exists, will reach Earth as early as 2029. The researchers utilize signals sent from Earth to various spacecraft, including Voyager 1, Voyager 2, Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons to project the likely dispersion of these signals in the cosmos. According to their study published in the journal Publications of the Astronomical Society, transmissions directed at Voyager 1, Pioneer 10, and Pioneer the 11th of May have already reached at least one star. Recent findings indicate that transmissions from Voyager 1 have already reached two objects discovered in 2007. The projections suggest that by 2336, Voyager 1's transmissions will have reached all 272 neighboring stars. Scientists estimate that responses from potential alien civilizations could be received by 2033. However, some scientists propose that if extraterrestrial beings possess more advanced communication technology, they might have attempted to contact us, and our current technology might not be capable of deciphering their signals. In contrast, Pioneer 10's broadcasts encountered a white dwarf star in 2002, and by 2013, its transmissions would have reached 222 stars. The earliest anticipated time for a return transmission is 2029. New Horizons transmissions have not contacted a star yet, but they are expected to do so in 2119, encountering 139 stars by 2338. According to the study, the earliest potential date for receiving a response is 2232. These developments suggest that we might be on the verge of making contact with advanced extraterrestrial life. However, there is a possibility that previous signals from aliens have gone unnoticed due to the limitations of our equipment. 
the Voyager team is actively working to ensure the spacecraft continues to collect data and travel as many miles as possible before its power runs out.